wanna so deep in your mind See me in your thoughts, have a wine Just to give you good memories Er single day, er single day, okay, er single day, okay, er single day, okay, teach me how to take, 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 teach we have been MIA from all social media and everything for a little while because at this current moment, we are fasting. <laughs> so in fasting, we are fasting from social media. Uh, we're doing the Daniel fast, let's make that clear. And we are fasting 21 days on the Daniel fast. And we're fasting away from social media. We're fasting away from any form of social media, even television. Um, Foods that we like to eat that will encourage us to keep ourselves in our current habits. So any snacks, any poultry, any um, chicken, dairy. Um, right now we're just pretty much eating lettuce and beans and whole grains and um, and fruits and fruits. But no chicken. No chicken. No beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, lambs, hams, logs, moths. Okay. <laughs> We're not eating none of that right now. And um, the purpose of doing that is so we can draw closer to God. Mm -hmm. So, who Jesus. Yes. How did it work? And we're on day 11. 11. Oh, my. So, it's been pretty much beautiful. Painfully beautiful in the beginning. <laughs> But it is beautiful now. As it comes to 11 more days left, we have been asking yes. God for no. so... 10 more days left. 10 more days left, yes. Somebody trying to make me go an extra 7 days, but... 10 more days. 10 more days. 10 more days left. But, um, it is, it's, if y'all have been wondering where we both have been or checking our social media and you haven't seen us active, it's because we have to unplug and just plug into God. So that's what we are doing right now. And... We're just here to chop it up with you guys and tell you guys the struggle is real when it comes to fasting. Make sure you're looking at the camera. I am. Okay. I'm not going to answer. Do I still look cross out? <laughs> <laughs> Where did I come? Oh, wait. Um, wait, maybe if you look that way. No. Can y'all, are we looking at y'all? Do it look like we're looking at y'all? Let us know. Do we look cross out? Wait, look that way. I'm way. looking at the camera right here. Look over there. Uh, and no, I still look, look right here. Look at the number right now. Okay, no. <laughs> Just look up. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you know I'm talking to you. That's all that matters. And we pretty <laughs> we pretty much just wanted to chop it up with you guys and tell y'all how real the struggle has been, but how beautiful and of a blessing this struggle has been for both of us in fasting. So um I'll just start it off on mine and then Shanice will just take over and tell you about hers. And we're gonna keep this short and sweet because we got a fast to get back to and we ain't got time. Got to go. Plug it into this. So um, we just wanted to tell y'all what was going on and keep y'all updated on this channel with content. So with my fast, okay. So me going into this fast, how it started was I knew I needed to do something to get closer to God. I knew something needed to happen, something needed to take place, like something needed to go down because I had found God again. Dear God, it's me, Margaret. Like I was back again, and me coming back again. I felt like I gotta get him more this time. Like I gotta offer him more of myself, but I don't know how. I don't know how to get closer. I don't know how to get that feeling. I'm feeling dry when I pray sometimes. It's feeling like he's there, but it's, it's, I, can do, I can do a little bit more. And I didn't know what else I can offer God, but I knew I needed to offer him something. And then as time went on, I kept hearing about fasting. And I kept seeing people talk about the Daniel fast on YouTube. It's a couple YouTubers that I've seen talking about it. And I'm like, I want to do this. And then I'm hearing pastors give sermons about fasting and how when you fast and you purge yourself or you deny yourself things that you're so used to, you give God room to operate within you, to communicate, to show you yourself, to reveal to you what you still have in you that you need to get out. And I was like, okay, boom. I just woke up one day, I'm like, we're going to do the day and fast. And I hit my best friend up and I'm like, hey, bro, we're going to do this fast. And 
I started today. <laughs> like, out of nowhere, like, I just knew I needed God that bad. There was so much going on with me that I just wanted to get closer to God. And in the first three days of this fast, Attitude. It was horrible for me. Like I was craving chocolate, everything. Like it, it was my attitude was so jacked up because I was dying on the things that I was so used to. I was so mad. The devil was coming full throttle with people, sending people my way, trying to throw me off this fast and making me want to quit so early. I was getting headaches. I was getting sick. I didn't think I could make it. And I just pressed myself through because I wanted God more than I wanted the things that I filled myself with. Like, that wasn't of God. So I'm like, I want God more than that. So I'm going to push through and just drink this lemon water and just force myself to, like, lose this appetite. And as the third day approached, it got easier after that third day. Like, he really came. It started to happen. Like, I started to pray about God revealing things to me and... Boy, he dropped some nuggets on my lap. Like some people I really am grateful that God just revealed it to me. Like, watch this, look at this, pay attention to this. And it was helping me as in a manner of dreams. So God started to come to me more in my dreams and started giving me a person who can interpret dreams. So I'm just like, okay, now I'm getting the, the knowledge. Cause I've always thought that you could just come to God and ask God stuff and Maybe a sign will happen, but I wasn't seeking knowledge and getting the knowledge now and God pointed me into the direction of getting the knowledge. It was just like, boom, now I'm on the roll and I can pray against this in spiritual like sense. Like I got spiritual warfare from this fast and I'm so happy for that because that's something I know God has lined up with my purpose is spiritual warfare. So I developed that as well as just being so happy. Like um, the Kurt Franklin song I was telling her, that I never knew I could be so happy. Hey. I never knew I'd be so secure. Like, because of you really, love. Because of your love. Like that brand new meaning. It's supposed to be a bird, 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 hit now like i get what that means like because of your love i feel so secure like i ain't worried about nothing like i ain't worried about who come in my life who go i am secure with god in that relationship alone and i am happy and the things god has been doing with me and relationships during this fast is mind blowing i'm happy y'all i am beyond happy like i am so ecstatic. I don't even know a word for it. I'm just so grateful that God is bringing stuff together and who he's placing in my life and the friendships that's so pure and so like, oh, how you get treated right and you just see love and you just see God. Y'all never see me just not know why she's talking about that song. <laughs> Thanks. But it, it was just like, man, this feels so good, man, like relation. So I would say God, spiritual warfare and relation, he has shown me in this fast relation so deeply, so securely, like, trust me and go with this. Like, I don't have the panic attacks I would have, or I don't do stuff that I used to do to sabotage relationships, to get people out of the way before they get out of the way. I am staying, holding it down, loving, feeling, accepting what is, accepting what ain't, having peace with it. If God take it, he take it. If he give it to me in abundance, he give it. Like, I am secure with all of that. I really feel like wherever this camera is, <laughs> <laughs> wherever you are, why you ain't catching my eyes, but you're not. But um, you understand, y'all. Right, see us. I ain't cross eyed. I just don't know what's we watching going on. Y'all watching us? We see y'all. But yeah, and all of that is gave me spiritual warfare, which is such a beautiful thing. I mean, after I got into deep spiritual warfare and I started recognizing what the devil was doing, the covenants he was setting up in my childhood, in my past, through other relationships, exes, those covenants, I was able to fight against now because I knew how to call them out. I had the knowledge. <laughs> so, because of that, <laughs> stupid, because of that, the devil came 10 times as hard. Like, everything that I was prepared for, it happened, and so I knew how to fight it, and I was just like amazed at how God is so good with what he gives you if you just seek his knowledge and his wisdom and eat 
black men and the cool. law of the land. Like the food that's here, like the natural foods that's here, I feel so strengthened. Like I did an eight mile ruck. And anybody who knows me, if you know me from Germany, if you know me from Virginia, if you know me from Anyville, <laughs> if you know me from anywhere in my army career, you know I ain't doing no eight mile ruck. Like I'm gonna find a way to shimmy on out that thing. I did an eight mile ruck at the same pace as everybody else. I didn't try to profile it out. I didn't try to do anything. God just gave me the same pace and I was so happy. I was listening to sermons the whole way and I rucked that eight miles with a smile on my face and it felt like I literally walked for 10 minutes. And it was two hours I was walking, but I didn't feel it. Like it felt like two minutes. I had so much energy. I didn't even have no water that morning. I just rucked it and God just gave me the energy. God gave me the strength. So, I'm getting a closeness with God. Um, the things that I'm asking for are still, that God is still working out through this fast. It's me getting my promotion. I do go to the board <clears throat> December. And I'm ready for that, to get my five. I'm ready to take off of what God has for me. So I am studying hard and long, but I'm also studying my word more. Because I know that what God gives, God can take it, take, it, take it away. And if God has something for me, it's just for me. Can't no devil, can't no warlock, can't no spirit, can't no demonic attack, can't no witchery, can't no sorcery, can't nothing take it from me. So I'm preparing myself in the spiritual as well as in the physical and the mental. So I'm ready for this E5. I'm hey. putting this out here on this video. So y'all, yeah, speaking to the stations. And even if I get a no-go the first time, I'm going to come back around the next month and do it again because it's preparation and God is teaching you preparation. Is, right, yeah. yeah. So that's another thing I'm wanting out of this fast, um, a close relationship with my children as well, uh, like honestly. And God has really been opening that door to where I could apologize to people <laughs> that I felt like was owed an apologi apology to me, apologize. Who I feel like I was owed an apology to me. Like, I went to people and apologized to people who I felt like I, they need to come and say sorry to me. I was able to say sorry to them for the bitterness I held against them, for the hate I had in my heart towards them, for the disturbance, for the resistance I had for so many years against them that made us dysfunctional around each other. I went and apologized for my feelings towards them, and God released me, released me from owning that from owning it and carrying it with me and now I can use it for God instead of it being used against me. So that's a beautiful thing as well as my weight. Like we both, look, if we went in bummy clothes right now, we would show y'all that this weight is coming off. You hear me? Like this weight is dropping off. God is just doing beautiful things. Like just beautiful things. Just letting us self love ourselves. Like, I'm losing my booty, y'all. She don't need it. Her, her, her husband will love it. Losing my boy. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, we, 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 we losing. We losing weight. Like, everything is just, I think I'm going to eat like this forever. I mean, I'm going to add some stuff back, but I don't mind eating healthy like this now. This introduced me to a lifestyle where I'm just like, dang, I like soy burgers. Like, it's really just soy and wheat. Yeah, it tastes like chicken for me. Yeah, it tastes, or maybe we just that hungry and deprived that we don't know the difference, but... Yeah, that's been my little spiel with my fast. That's the things that I'm asking God for, better relations, asking God for to help me be forgiven as well as forgive, and as well as my promotion. God giving me promotion in the spiritual as well as in this physical world of my, uh, my military career. So I feel like he's opening those doors and he's closing doors that shouldn't have been open and I allowed the devil in to open. He's closing them away in the spiritual as well as in the physical for me to see the result. And giving me relations. Thank you, God, for the beautiful relations that you brought into my life with my friend. We mended on a lot of things, talked about a lot of things, and we've grown closer. And I love that because some people let their friendships go over stupid stuff that they could have just talked and fixed. And we've built on that, bro. And we did it without men, mm -hmm. without feeling like we need somebody. Like we have self love through this journey, and it ain't been easy. But it ain't been hard. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't been hard. Get a little lonely. I said I get lonely. Oh, 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 oh. All right. <laughs> but yeah, that's my little spiel. I'm happy. I'm blessed. I am secure in myself. And I never knew God's love could be this joyful. But on to you. This has been a lot about the camera for your work.
Because <laughs> I've fasted before, but this is like, I consider this my first real fast. Because the other fasts, I did like a three-day water fast. And I don't even remember what exactly. I think I was fasting from my marriage, but my, the content of my heart was wrong. So I didn't see any effects of it. So the purpose of this fast for me now is like to break generational curses on my kids, on my life. Um, for me to actually get closer to God and stop living that outer Christian appearance and be an inner, inward believer. Because um, all my life I've been living to look like a Christian to everybody else. Oh, and my life, I, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just got tired of pretending like I want the real thing. Like it's a song by Dante Bo called Real Thing. I think it's, he sings it with Maverick City. But it's like I'm tired of Shout pretending. Out Maverick City. Y'all yes. know me this is fast. Channel and all Channel more. Yes. All of yeah. y'all. And I think her name is Rose yeah. something. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah. Heavenly voices. If heaven had a choir. That'd be it. Yes. Huh. Yeah. Glory. Right. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. like. I've been, I feel like I've been living wrong, like all this time, all this time I haven't really been living like the world. I was just so focused on everybody seeing me as that Christian person, like posting on social media, a whole bunch of Christian stuff. And I was also afraid of posting like worldly stuff because I was like, people might get the wrong idea. So I wasn't being who I really wanted to be. I was portraying this Christian image, feeling like I was going to be judged by other people. Even if they wasn't saying it out loud, I felt like inwardly they was going to be like, oh, why is she posting that? Or she ain't no real believer. But I got tired of trying to hold myself on that pedestal and I was like I want the real thing from God so let me do this fast because as soon as she asked me about it I was already on go like before she even texted me she walked out of the house and she was like something about the fast and I went and grabbed my snack bag and I put it up like I, I put it at the top of the closet because I was ready to start like <laughs> I wasn't even eat because I was taking snacks to work but I was like let me put this up and then she texted me she was like we're gonna start this fast I was like oh, I was already ahead of you like that snack bag was put up but and fasting from like any soul ties mm, that's like cool. to break off of me because mm. just like what we've been studying it's like the devil try to make covenants with you through your dreams and through other people and even through our words how we talk talk about people talk badly about people or yes. even when we're mad at them we say a whole bunch of hateful things not realizing we're coming to agreements with the works of the flesh we're coming into agreements with mm -hmm. what the devil's saying and he that makes it become reality because right. it starts off as a spiritual war. So when you come into agreements with it, with your word having life and death and the power of it, then you come into agreements with that death or you come into agreements with that life. And my fast is to break all of that death off of my life mm -hmm. and for me to die daily, mm -hmm. for me to live for God, um, to draw closer to him and um, fasting to be enlisted to the Air Force by the end of this fast. Yes. 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 The will of God. Um, if he has something else for me, then... It won't pay me off, and he's going to show me my path. Nice. Um, and for my family, like, the curses, everything to be exposed, every every bad seed that was planted and rooted, every generation of curse that was on my family that was passed on to me and passed on to my siblings and my parents and my children's dad, family, and him and him and their, and him, him and his siblings, like, to break those cur um, curses off and to shake up the foundation because we weren't built on the right foundation so i want my foundation to start off with god so anything mm -hmm. that didn't start off the right way i'm asking god to break those foundations so they can be built on him because if it's built on him then ain't no shaking the foundation but um has a leaf in this home building and my soul has got to move my mama soul has got to move <laughs> feels really good like my I, I've had more grumpy days honestly than her like I would think it would have been a lot easier for me but this one is really purging me like I have some moments where it's like everything aggravates me 
And I'm like, God, take it out. Let us know if it's not pleasing to you, take it out of me. Jabari Johnson, shout out to you too. Right. His songs be getting. Um, but yeah, like it really those frustrations and the devil be trying to trick you to eat. Mm, and you sleep, just <sighs> making you smell chocolate, it ain't even there and potatoes. Just walking you by subways on your way to work and just driving you by all these fast food fast food places on the way home and you don't never see them fast food places before. And all of a sudden they feel noticeable. They stand out more now. The lights working, everything all blinging and stuff. Mm -hmm. They got Christmas lights around it and yeah, the devil thinks the other day. Oh, mm. hey, cool. No, they're chicken from Papa. Jesus. Yeah. They got chicken in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. I don't think they're hungry. They're probably the man. They're spirit. But, but, man. <laughs> spirit ain't hungry. The man was for the people who was on okay, earth. Okay, so they got spiritual chicken. <laughs> Spirit wings. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they get wings, huh? Ooh. Spirit wings, man. I can't yeah. wait to try some spirit Ooh, wings. Ooh, we can make a we can make a shop called Spirit Wings. No, you should have seen it. Somebody can steal it. Look, it's already patented. No, them spirit wings. It's proof on our video that we said spirit first. Yeah, think about that. Wings. Spirit wings. Mm -hmm. All right, but yeah. That this fast has been a beautiful thing. We just wanted to chop it up with y'all. Just tell y'all like. If y'all have time and y'all big and big, look, deep, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. No, I'm keeping that. This is going to be raw. This is how this is going in there. But um, if y'all have, flip it. No. <laughs> Never mind. Flip it around. But, um. Smack. Okay. No. See? That's <laughs> what need to come out. But I was thinking about the bop and not anything. Oh, twist it. Yeah. Oh, turn it. Yeah. But <laughs> um, if y'all have time and y'all big onto YouTube and y'all like doing y'all research and seeking knowledge like we have been doing on this fast, go look up Kevin E. Wing. He is a spiritual interpreter in Christ and yeah. he has been breaking down a lot of stuff. His name is Kevin E. Wing. He has been breaking down dream interpretations, how you know witchcraft is in your dream, how you know all just have been set up against you, how you know... Satan has put certain covenants between people in your dreams. You have dreams about dead people, familiar spirits, or Babies. people that look similar to old you. Schools. Yeah, seeing old homes in your dreams, seeing you in your old city, your old town, or if you have dreams about shoes. Like, he breaks down everything very detailed. So, with scripture, because mm -hmm. it's important that somebody explains something to you with scripture. So, he breaks all of that down and gives it to you the meat. So you know how to fight against it, but you're aware of what the devil was trying to do so you can call out those covenants that he tried to make with you in the spiritual. And like she said, I'm so happy for soul ties to be breaking off mm -hmm. of us because you would never know what those spirits were sent to do because it comes and it goes and you think that you're over it because of time. But a day is like a thousand days to God. You feel me? So it's like, you don't know what you're really doing when you enter into a relationship with somebody and this journey of celibacy that we have been on, we don't even, I don't even think we talk about sex anymore now, huh? Yeah, it's like God got us so focused on getting something out of this fast that we don't even think about the when we gonna have sex again. Because the devil, like, he try to get us with dreams. Yeah. Like, if you have a dream about having sex with somebody or something, like, that's just the spirit of lust trying, trying to, to re-enter. Yeah, yeah, trying to get you to agree and to re-enter back into your life. Or walking past a dude and randomly thinking about something or thinking about what type of guy they would be or something. He's just trying to activate it back. Yeah. Like, just like you, just like if you dye your hair, if you don't have that activator. Or if you put a perm in your hair for the people that's not natural. It's like if you don't put that activator in there, it's not going to take. Right. So, like, your confirmation is the activator. It has to be activated. Facts. Yeah. That's pretty much what we just wanted to chop it up with y'all and get y'all to struggle. It's real. Tell y'all where we've been at. We got 10 more days on this fast, so you will not see us for another 10 days. So we wanted to touch bases with y'all, give y'all this quick video. Like she said, you can find her IG under Shawnee o underscore O H H H H. And I'm under I dot surrender. I don't know if that's how it goes, but look it up. You might find it. If not, God, it means for you to find me. So. 
that's just what it is. I'm sure my information will be in my old YouTube video so I can plug it in because I just changed my YouTube stuff and I'll tell you why on the other video. But um, yeah, that's what we wanted to talk to you about, guys. Fast and doing this Daniel fast. Do it. And the struggle is real, but we are getting through the struggle. Teach me how to pray. Teach me, teach me how to pray. Teach me how to pray. Teach me, teach me how to pray. Every single day. Every single day. Okay. Every single day. Okay. Every single day. Okay. Teach me how to pray. 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 single day. Every single day. Every single day. It's a job. That's how you shoot the enemy. Yep. Shoot you with a few lines. This will be the first Bible drive out. Facts. All right, let's get out of here. Obviously, something's wrong. Y'all have a blessed day. Say y'all prayers. Get in y'all word. The time is now. The Lord's prayer. Every hey day. there. We out.